and welcome back to another video now today i'm going to be doing a massive tech unboxing so you guys may have seen this all around youtube at the moment and i've been collecting these parcels for about probably a couple months now before i even went on holiday so it's got to be about three or four months and i have opened a couple because i did need them at the time so they aren't featured in this video if you guys know me then you should know that i don't like waiting to open parcels as soon as i get them i like to open them so some of these have got duct tape over them because I have opened them to see what's in it but I think some of them I don't even know what is in them. So these have all been parcels sent to me from a load of different So most of these products will be featured in future videos so I'm not going to go into too much detail about them but I will be showing you guys them today so make sure you keep an eye out for future videos talking about these products. So guys drop a like rating if you are excited for this video and don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button down below to let me know that you're enjoying the content and next week I'm going to be having a really super fun lineup of videos for you guys so make sure you subscribe and also leave a like if you are excited for the videos and turn on notifications so that you know when I post so guys without further ado let's get into the video so I've actually got a brand new unboxing knife which I've had for a couple of months and seeing as I haven't actually unboxed anything in a couple of months that's why you haven't seen this but I have to say it is a very very sharp knife so I need to be extremely careful and it comes with a cover so to be honest, I generally don't know where to begin. So let's scrap all these and put them on the floor and let's open up a parcel. Okay, so the first two I'm going to be opening are these two. So let's have a look what is in them. I'm probably not going to need this knife, but you know what? I like opening my boxes with knives. So that is what I'm going to do. Come on! Jesus! Okay, so I ordered these a couple of, no, when was it, about a month ago, and these are just some pictures. Now, I'm slightly concerned how they were just placed in this box with actually no protection whatsoever. I'm going to have a lot of recycling for in this video, I know that. So these are actually just pictures around London. Now, these were super cheap on Amazon, so I will leave a link in the description if I can find them, but this is the first one. And then we've got this one. And then lastly, we then have this one. So it's not really exciting as much as basically just some basic pictures that look really nice that I ordered on Amazon. So these will probably be on my wall sometime soon. So next up, let's open this one. Now, I do know what's in this one and it's been killing me because I did try and film a vlog the other day and i wanted to use this but i couldn't so i didn't want to film the vlog until i actually used this because this is hopefully going to hopefully motivate me to vlog more because i do have something coming up soon actually it's not really soon but i've been planning for something so guys you better be excited oh okay so this is a manfrotto mini pixie tripod now, I did actually have a, a um, gift card left over from Christmas last year, and it turns out that it actually expired too, so I needed to order something that was left on the gift card. So, the obvious thing for me to order would be a new tripod. So, this has not been opened as you just saw, and let's open it up. Man, I didn't even cut it. Yeah. Sorry for the audio props in this video, I know they're going to be terrible, but I can't really help it. Oh, okay, it opens like that. Oh, there's tape on the bottom, that was why. Oh, that's, that, I'll wait all that time to literally do that. Man, this is heavy, and wow, it's really dusty. This is actually a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Wow! It's very good quality though, I'll tell you that. Okay, so this was a lot heavier than what I thought it was gonna be and a lot different. I thought it was gonna be a lot smaller. You know what Pointless Blog uses? I thought it was this, but it's, it's obviously not this because I don't think his one is as big as this or this much material. But I have to say, 
for £23, I think it was on Apple's website. It's very, very good. So I will be using this. Are you joking me? This thing comes with a freaking extraction manual. Oh, basically just says, thanks for purchasing. Well, so I'm just gonna go for the top one. This one is, does it say where it's from? It's from Amazon. I can't even find it. Crease. Oh, okay, well that's, that's easier. Didn't even need the knife. I'm gonna have a huge mess in this room after this video. Because this room is very, very tiny. That's one wall, and that is another, and then I've got some more space over there. But yeah, this room is tiny. Okay, so we have got a product from Easy SMX. So this is another gaming headset that they wanted me to check out. And what's it called? It's called the ESM V350 Luminous Gaming Headset. So let's open it up. Okay. Well, this is a bit different. <laughs> different packaging it's because you have no one's at home isn't it because they would be shouting at me for the amount of noise so let's just open this up and take a look how do we open this thing like that so it looks to be just a basic headset unless I'm missing something it does have some audio uh, controls on the side this uh, microphone lights up and I'd say it's very cushioned whoa it literally doesn't feel like if anything is on my head except it just sounds really muffled wow okay so I will be testing this out and I'll let you know in a future vlog if I think it's worth it which to be fair it looks like it will be and it looks like as if these side bits light up as well very good so i'll put that to the side and i'll let you know in the future vlog what i thought this is what i'm going to be saying a lot this video on to the next box oh this one's a bit heavy i think there's a lot of stuff in this one oh wow we have got a lot of stuff in this box well it looks it Okay, so we've got some speakers. So here we have two speakers of Easy SMX. My invoice. So these are two speakers that look to be from the company Pincho, which I'll just open this one up and have a look. So pretty much a basic speaker huh? I swear to god if there's rats or something in this Iceland um okay not sure why there is an Iceland bag in there but you know so we have got instructions, we've got an aux cable, which I believe this does support Bluetooth, yes it does, so it does support Bluetooth. And we have a micro USB cable, and I'm pretty sure this one's just the same, except I think it has a leather strap. But yeah, pretty good speaker, so I'll let you know in a future vlog how it is. Let's open this massive one actually, I forgot I had this one. So this one actually arrived today. And I don't think I was expecting anything today. I was expecting something tomorrow, but this was only sent out yesterday, I think. So the fact how it meant got here within a day, and it was an Amazon Prime order. Okay, so after about 10 minutes, we are finally back, and I literally have no idea if this is recording or not because I, I'm using a different camera because my other one failed. Well, it didn't fail, but it died on me. So I'm having to use a different one and I cannot see myself. So I hope that this is in focus because I have no idea. But what I was doing was opening this box. 
So, hate these things. Get out. Now here we have a backpack that it put the company's name on the screen right now. And this is actually a really cool backpack because I'll tell you why in a minute. But I love this backpack. I saw it on Amazon and I, as soon as I saw it, I asked the company if I could review it and obviously they said yes. So I love this backpack because it is a really modern look and I love the look of modern backpacks. So we have a pocket at the front here to put headphones or a tablet in or basically whatever you want to put in. We have a pocket on the side to put whatever you want in. You could even put a laptop in there if you wanted to. We do have something on the side here which I'll get to in a minute. And then on the back here, we have a pocket for a laptop. So if you do if you have two laptops you could use this one and this one which is a really nice mesh design so it keeps your laptop safe and doesn't get it broken but we also have a zip somewhere here which goes into the main compartment which is where we have places to put a tablet or a laptop again you have pockets here two pockets for a pen and a USB cable, you're probably wondering what this is for but you can plug this into the wall to charge the battery pack which is then what this pocket side here is for so you put a USB cable into this and you can then charge your phone, you can charge your laptop, tablet, what, headphones, whatever you want to charge that you can charge this via USB you can do so from this backpack so I think that's amazing how if you're getting off a train or you're going to work and your battery is low on your phone this bag has got you covered. So I love this backpack. Pack, pack, pack. I love this backpack so much, and I think it is a really great design. And kids, don't eat them because they will kill you. And trust me, you don't want that. By the way, I forgot to show you guys. All links in the description for all of these products are below in the description box. So make sure you do check them out if you do want to have a look at any of these products and see what the pricings are. There'll be a link in the description. Now this one is something that I've been waiting to use for absolutely ages and it's oh uh, yeah I just cannot wait so this is another laptop accessory I'll show you guys in a minute just how messy my room is but this is a really really nice laptop case so in case you don't want to carry around a backpack like that this is from a company called Wiru and of course it'll be linked in the description and wow this is a really nice so this is called a gent briefcase exclusively designed for laptop and ultrabook so that is the company there and just by looking at this i can tell this is really great quality it feels really nice and padded so let's open up this pocket rips rips the zips are very responsive that's for the laptop and here we have a laptop, no, a bag strap, so you can carry it over. And wow, this is, this is soft inside. Holy crap, I want a pillow like this. Don't mind me. That is actually generally so soft. I could sleep in that if I was to fit. But yeah, that's soft. Then we have a pocket in the back which you probably put a tablet your phone or whatever you want to put in you have the label one thing I really like about this is how the top pockets actually come up well no the handles actually come up so you can carry it like this and then when you don't want to use the handles you can then just tuck them in to the pockets on either side and then you can carry it like a bag. Guys, we're actually onto our last box now, which actually kind of makes me sad, the way how I have been saving these for the last couple of months and they opened within 10 minutes. Kind of annoying, but hey ho. I don't know what to say, let's just open it. Come on, this box is really heavy. Never cut towards yourself as I cut towards myself. Me! 
man, let's just do some stuff. Oh. Yay. Whoa, we got a lot of stuff in here. So these are from a few different companies. So first thing up here, we have got some kids' headphones for ages three to 12. So if you want a pair of headphones that are cheap, check these out. These are from Easy SMX. And they're basically just some basic headphones that are yellow and blue. There are some princess colors on there, if that's what you're into. There's them online on Amazon. So there will be a link in the description, obviously. But cool headphones. Then we have got a gamepad for the Nintendo Switch, which looks pretty cool. I've actually got two of them. So, and then lastly in the box, we've got a Easy SMX gamepad customized controller consistent choice. Or is this for any particular console? Oh, for the PS3, your PC, and Android. Okay, so let's check these out. So these are from Game Bill. Now I have reviewed their products on this channel before. Let's have a look. Okay. Ugh. Let's have a look. Oh, this has a long cable. Wow. This actually has a really long cable that is red and black. I have to say, this feels really nice in the hat. It is, of course, plastic. But it actually feels really good. And the A, B, Y, and X are in the right place to the Nintendo Switch Joy Cons. And we have a turbo button, screenshot button, volume up and down, and a home button. And a proper D pad. So I suppose this is kind of like a cheaper solution for the Pro Controller. So if you don't want to spend £80 getting the Pro Controller, then check this out. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it to it, just a controller for the Nintendo Switch. So thank you, Game Wheel. And then we have an Easy SMX gamepad controller, which I believe is in the colour white, and there is a black version as well. Let's have a look. Oh. Yep, it's in white. Let's get this out. The box is really heavy. There's so much crap in this room. Oh, this feels really good. This is of course plastic again, and it's really light. Triggers feel really good. They're a little bit small, but they feel right. A, B, X, and Y, which, wait, didn't it say that this was for? Yeah, so my only concern now is that this is for the PS3, and obviously they have the shape buttons, and this only has B, X, Y, and A. So that might be a little bit confusing, but if you're going to use this for PC, I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, the thumbsticks are a little bit small, but they feel really good, and the D-pad feels nice. Home button, start and select. But yeah, this feels really good, really nice. So guys, I think that's going to be pretty much it from this video, and my hair is a mess, as always. But yeah, this is probably going to be it from this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed. As I said, I've been planning to do this for a couple of months and it's been killing me that I couldn't open my parcels, but now I actually can. And I need to find a place to put all of these because I just used to store them in my wardrobe in the boxes, but obviously now I can't. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like rating down below if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to be on the lookout for some exciting new videos next week. If you like more, you can subscribe to me in the middle. There will be a playlist on your right and a video, one of the most popular videos of mine, on your left.